today's our first day going to Big White. Uh, we just gotta load up the truck. Now, as a parent, one of the most fun things to see is the sparkle in your kid's eyes when you get to tell them that you're going outside the whole day, going up into the mountains to spend some time skiing down one of the best ski hills in Canada. And to see the look in their face when you get to tell them that. Right, Kale? Mm -hmm. The other great thing about living in Kelowna is when you leave Kelowna in the winter and it's still like this, and you get to the mountains and it's like this. Moving to uh, BC, a big part of moving here was because I wanted to ski and snowboard more often. When I turned about 30, I hated winter. Hated it. I was looking, we were looking for places south, trying to figure out ways that we could move to the states, but that wasn't gonna work. So I was like, all right, well, I gotta find something to do in the winter. So started learning how to snowboard in Ontario at Horseshoe Valley, Blue Mountain, Mount St. Louis. What's your problem? You're good. And my advice is find something to do in the winter if you hate it. Because now I actually enjoy winter probably even more than summer. And spending out time out here with Kale. Normally Dylan. And normally Dylan, but he's at work today, is one of the greatest things during the winter. So, okay. are you okay, Kale? It's hard to breathe. When I take off my mask, I'm cold. All right. And I took off my gloves. There's a look at the village, or the residential area, anyway. I took off my First gloves. Day, First day, Kale. First day. First day. So and we're down at the. Yes, tour the mountain. No. Where we park is in Happy Valley, and they have a bunch of other non-ski things you can do here. You can see they're building a big giant outdoor rink that you can skate on for free. And down this way at the Adventure Park they have snowmobile rentals, uh, snowshoe rentals, cross country, and a big ice tower you can climb. We'll show some of that stuff to you. I just cut my finger off. Down the road. And this is the uh, gondola. The golden egg. Oh, the golden egg, Kale okay, likes to call it. They have to take to go up the, the village. gondola there. Most of the uh, village is all ski in, ski out, so if you're staying here, you can uh, pretty much ski right out the front door. It's pretty awesome. Are you ready, Kale? No. You're ready. He's ready. founded by Doug Mervin and uh, Cliff Serwa. In the 50s and 60s they were out here cutting paths through the through the mountain and apparently one time they got stuck while they were surveying 
and got lost and almost died. And you might know Cliff Sirwa's name because his granddaughter is also Kelsey Sirwa, who grew up out here and uh, has won a gold and a silver medal at the Olympics. So I think the first run we're going to hit is Sirwa's. It's uh, obviously named after them and uh, it's probably one of the most popular green runs on here. It's a good run to like see if you still got any kind of ski or snowboard legs left after a long off season. favorite place, the uh, village grocery store and deli, because why did we have to stop here, Cam? Because I'm hungry and yes. And why, what do they have that you like? Gummy sour thing, however, gummy sour piece. Candy. Yes. Candy is the main factor. Yeah, and Gatorade. Gatorade. Oh, that dude just totally fell over. day out there on the hill for the first day of the year not the greatest snow and the visibility is kind of crummy but it doesn't matter I'm just glad to be back up on the mountain again anyway that's it for this week we'll see you next week